Motor Car Nut here, and today we're going to be removing an instrument cluster uh, from a 2008 to 2012 GMC Canyon or uh, Chevrolet uh, Colorado or even some Suzuki models um, that have this type of cluster. Okay, whether yours is not working or damaged, this one doesn't work at all, it's dead. And uh, it's very simple to do. You only need a few tools, so let's just get started. Okay, the first thing you do is get the lever down here and make the steering wheel, you know, uh, tilt the steering wheel all the way down. And this plastic piece, all you're going to do is grab it with two hands, okay, and you pry out. Be careful not to break it, but they usually come right out, okay? And... It'll come right out, and over here, um, you can move the, the gear shifter down if you want, but you can get it out without that. You see that? Comes right out like that, and it's got these little metal tabs right there. You see them? Four of them on one side, and that comes out. And now what you're going to need, there's four screws. There's, there's one up here, one up there, one down here, and one down there, and that's a 7 millimeter. What you do, the ones up here, when you unscrew them, try to have like a little magnet so when you unscrew the, the uh, screw, it doesn't fall and get, you know, get buried somewhere in the, in the, inside the uh, dash. Okay, so you take those four seven millimeter screws out. I already did. And then you just pull it out like this. There's going to be a, a, a clip right here. You see that? You push down on this little lever right here. And it releases, and it releases this little catch like that, and you take it out. Let me see, show you what I'm talking about. You see that? This little thing right here. And when you put it back in, it's, you just do the same thing, but you just reverse the procedure. And this locks in like that. You see how it locks in? Make sure, because you want a good contact with that. And then, you just take it right out. Simple. Easy peasy, okay? And you replace it, and and you're going to have to get the car. You know, it all depends what you're doing on it. If you're just, you know, replacing, let's say the lights blew out or something like that, uh, you can do that. Or if the gauge, don't, you know, if the cluster doesn't work, you can take the pieces out and put it from a new one and just put it right back in. And that's it. If you have to deal with anything with the mileage, you're going to have to get it reprogrammed by the dealership. Or they have online services that do it. You just show the current mileage on your vehicle. Uh, you give your name, your, 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 um, your, your driver's license, or whatever they need online. You send it to them, and they send it back with the correct mileage. Or you can have the dealer do it. All right, guys. So that's basically it. Really simple and easy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please uh, subscribe, like. You learned something. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate everybody for watching. I answer all my questions if you have any. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.